Hi, Excelsior. I'm John Beatty, your council member for the last six years. I have previously been on the Charter Commission and the Park and Rec Commission. I'm also a partner and an attorney in a major Minneapolis law firm practicing in municipal law and commercial real estate law. Uh, I've been married to my lovely wife, Mary, for 40 years. Uh, we also have three adult children, and we live at 198 Third Street in Excelsior. Common sense and good judgment lead to common ground and good decisions for residents and the city. As a result, our city is vibrant and thriving and in the best financial condition in years. I listen, then make decisions in the best interest of the city and its residents. So what have we done? Over the last four years, we've completed street, sewer, and water projects totaling $6.24 million. We've also encouraged private investments in the city, uh, notably Kowalski's Grocery Store and the Water Senior Living Center. The Waters is providing $900,000 for public improvements, which uh, notably also includes the intersection at Water and Oak Street. It has resulted in 115 apartment units for our seniors, and 23 of those are low-cost, affordable housing. We've raised revenue for the city. Park meter revenue increased from $65,000 to $280,000. We've added dock, and dock revenue has increased by $80,000 a year, or 50% over the previous configuration. As a result, our commercial tax collections now contribute 33% of all tax collection. That's up from 24%. This reduces the tax burden on residential properties and lightens the load for all of us. Uh, we reduced the size of our homes. I initiated the moratorium that led to the new zoning standards to ensure our homes fit in their neighborhoods and reflect the, our heritage. We did, did that in four months so that we didn't interfere with the building season, but we also were mindful and wanted to protect homeowner values and property rights. We have supported the community for the commons uh, by providing funds for uh, the master plan that uh, everybody in the city uh, is excited about. So what's in our future? Finding the right balance between respecting our heritage and staying relevant uh, into the future is critical to the financial well-being and the overall vibrancy of Excelsior. It requires careful listening, careful planning, and an outward orientation. We can ill afford to turn inward and ignore the forces around us. I am committed to using common sense to finding common ground that bridges the past with the future. Our future projects include uh, improving and selling the old police department building. Uh, I've listened to residents and we are now uh, on a path and I've urged the city to acquire additional land so that we can have a low density development but maintain the sale price for that project. We are gonna commit to another $6 million of street and sewer and water projects that will happen in the next couple of years. Uh, we are also working hard on a commons funding package. Uh, I am proposing and supporting a $360,000 park improvement plan that would be leveraged with a million dollars of bond financing to encourage additional private investment to do projects under the master plan that was developed last year. The total of street and commons improvements over the next 20 years is about $40 million. Our future is bright and with increased and reasonable investment in our community by homeowners and businesses will make that happen. I also support our relationships with our sister cities and encourage continued shared services and future solutions that will benefit all of us. So let's find common ground together. Our future includes all of us and should embrace all of us, old and new alike. Uh, listening to you and working with you will ensure a bright future, and I am committed to doing that. I ask for your vote in early voting now or on November 6th, and I look forward to serving you for another four years. Thank you. <laughs>